good morning ladies another woman to woman today and um, I just want to talk about something you know what? let me ask a question uh, would you classify yourself as a mistress of illusion you know we talk about it we hear that in magic about you know the master of illusion but um, would you classify yourself as a mistress of illusion. Um, in other words, now you see the real me, now you don't. Um, you know what, we sometimes carry on a facade, whether we are in the world or in, you know, what I call in the church or outside the church where we have kind of have um, two different personalities. One, um, that we put our best foot forward. In other words, where it's not the real us. We portray a personality for inside, like having an inside voice and an outside voice. We have an inside personality and an outside personality. Um, when truly we as women are, remarkable beings we were created uniquely for a unique purpose so we can't be like others or we can't please everyone in other words um, I remember I interviewed a lady once and a young lady and she said to me beautiful person she said to me why is it that we as women can't just come into a room together and just have a, like a genuine, real conversation where we kind of let our hair down, let our guards down, and just talk? And I thought about that, and it's, it's like, and we did discuss that, and it's like, the question, the answer to that question really is we feel we're going to be judged. We feel we're going to be looked at differently. Um, or even um, ridiculed, uh, come against opposition, or talked about. People don't talk anyway. Don't give them something to talk about. But, um, or we won't line up with the expectations of others. But our, again, I would say our Father designed us uniquely as unique beings. And why carry on a facade anyway, right? Uh, we naturally want to just be, to just exist. Um, our bodies want that freedom and um, Sometimes too we hide um, our challenges, our hurts, and we think being transparent, the very thing that we think will harm us if we kind of release that, because people are going to talk about us, judge us, or ridicule or whatever, the very thing that we think will harm us, which is transparency, being open, is the very thing that um, guides our, our healing process uh, even I say like this Christ even talks about this he says in this world because we're gonna have challenges anyway in this world we will have tribulations in this world we're gonna have a chip uh, trials but he said be of good cheer be excited because he has overcome that and he has designed ways and showed us ways even in the word to get past uh, those challenges and situations we don't have to hide behind um, our hurts or hide our hurts and don't succumb to the reality that um, you can't get past this it's okay when everything is not okay chances are the very thing that you know you think oh I'm, I'm you know I, I've got too much going on you know and Nobody is feeling the same thing. The person that you think is not is the very person 
that's going through um, hiding like you. You know, we, we can't live our lives being guided by the judgments of others. I told somebody this the other day because she was uh, really, um, you know, upset and ashamed of what was going on and in her life and who she had become even though she had known the Lord and then, you know, she kind of left all of that and she was just going on and just beating herself up and I said, why are you condemning yourself? The Lord has not condemned you. Whom the Son has set free is free indeed. He has not condemned you. Go to him. Talk to him. Release yourself from all of that. Be transparent. Be open. Be for real with what's going on. And that's going to guide you. And he's going to guide you. The Holy Spirit will release you of that bondage of fear of being you being I'm not okay right now or saying I'm not okay right now or I can't deal with this right now go to him don't worry about what's going on or what other people will think or how they'll see you or whatever just let it out get past that woman that mistress of illusion. I was there. I was there. I'm still working on getting myself um, past that place where um, I am fully comfortable in who I am and in my skin and who God has created me to be and who God has destined me to be and how I'm supposed to live my life out for him. And I don't want to miss any more moments. And I encourage you who are struggling with that double life. Um, live in that singularity of comfort in knowing that God has created you for a great purpose in the person that he has created you to be. Even in the experiences that you have walked whether they feel yucky or whether they feel less than up to par or um, use, he's using those things to strengthen you, to have a story to tell, to have um, something to be able to help someone with. So be transparent. Someone needs your story. Someone needs your story to heal their heart, to um, bring them into the victory that God has called them to. So love on yourselves today, all the women that are listening. Love on yourselves today. Open yourself up to the realness that is you in the remarkable being that God, remarkable. Remarkable <laughs> being that God has created you to be. Be comfortable in you today. Strip off that mask. Take off that mask. No more hiding. Show your true colors and be that light to someone else today. Woman to woman, have a wonderful, wonderful day and create wonderful experiences.